All right, so now we're going to be going over a programming languages repo that I have, which was for a class where we learned a lot of functional programming languages and basically just languages and how they work and how they function. Uh, a couple of the examples that I'm going to go over are C++, Lisp, and Haskell. So first, C++, um, basically this is a subset of C++ that allows us to declare semaphores, and that's basically what the first couple homeworks that we did were based off of, semaphores and blocking. Um, unfortunately, this Baki interpreter, this BACC, um, works on Linux, and I don't have access to a Linux box. But what we did is we have a specific Linux box that we had access to when I was at my university, um, and that's where I ran the interpreter and compiler from for C++ um, when I was completing these. Unfortunately, I don't have access to that anymore, so I can't run these programs, but I did link in the repos readme um, where you can get that and how you can build it um, but for now we can just go over at least some of the code and see this is a semaphore blocking program where we have two consumers and one producer and a producer is basically producing uh, data or whatever you want to call it it's just producing things that the consumers will consume um, and this one is running this first Homework A, part A, is um, their equal consumers, and so an output would look something like this, where they're being consumed by both consumer one and consumer two after they're produced, and they just go back and forth until the program is completed, where homework B actually puts a little bit of a blocker on consumer two and inserts a delay. And that was just something to do to see how it would look like um, when we did that, and as you can see, consumer one is basically consuming every single thing the producer produces because consumer two is on a block. So now let's skip down to homework two. This is also in C++. Um, this is doing readers and writers. Basically the same thing. This is where readers have priority over writers, and so we're going to have the readers do their thing first and block the writers until the readers are all done and then the writers will do their thing. So you can see an output over here. Reader, readers will do their thing first and then eventually writers will come in at the end. Part B was opposite. Writers have priority over readers and they'll signal T OK after they're done. So writers are doing their thing, then readers can do their thing. Part C was that they're equal. Readers and writers have approximately the same priority. They just go through it on their own. And here we go. Readers and writers are both changing intermittently all the time. And that's basically it for that. So now we'll go over a little bit of what the readers and writers are doing here. Feel free to look at it. And now we'll move on to the next programming language.